guys, welcome back to Earth to Rosita. So, in today's vlog, I actually really wanted to talk about something that's been on my mind for the past, like, one month. Um, and it's, like, it's been, it's been something that's on my mind a lot because I'm really, like, analyzing myself and why I've never been, you know, the relationship type. If you've watched my other vlogs, you'd know by now that I'm, relationships just don't make sense to me, like, duh. And I've really been thinking about other people and the relationships that they get into and stuff like that. And a theme that I've seen that seems to like be the primary reason as to why those relationships fall apart is basically because people just, they don't know, they don't understand the value of accepting people as they are, you know? Um, so what I mean by that is, is that people, most people, not all people, because I, I can't speak for every single person out there, most people, they have, they're not looking for real love, they're looking for fairy tale love. They're looking for honeymoon phase love. They want to stay in, like, in romantic relationships, people want to stay in the honeymoon phase forever because they can't deal with the bad shit. Um, most people, most people, they have unresolved trauma, they have, they're, they come from, you know, like, uh, broken families, broken homes, and, um, they were raised by people that don't know how to show them love. And some, like, not all people, like, um, some some people got lucky, you know. They got lucky and they have loving parents that weren't that whose parents were in love for real, you know. And that built a solid foundation for them to be able to understand uh understand um what what, like, they should accept and shouldn't accept in another person. Um, but even people that were raised in, like, a good, solid family, they have problems too, you know? Um, but, okay, now I'm getting off track. So, the basic idea that... that I'm trying to, like, speak about is... People look for love, look for fairy tale love. They look for fairy tale love, and when that illusion is shattered, they bail out because they can't, they can't, they don't like challenges. They don't, they want everything, people want everything. To just um, be handed to them on a platter, and it's like it's the society, it's the society that we are raised in that makes us that way because we get everything delivered to us easily. Um, 
we get everything handed to us, like, we want fast food, we just go through the drive through and we get our goddamn food. Food. <laughs> um. We... We want, like, a book. We order it online, gets delivered to us within, uh, anywhere between one to two weeks, whatever, you know, um, we drive around in cars, we get to places within 30 to 40 minutes, like, um, unless we're going on an adventure or something. People get ever want everything to be delivered to them quickly and fast. They don't want to um, do the real spiritual work. And in a way, that's that that kind of mindset has been extended out to romantic relationships. Which is why a lot of people just don't find that anymore. They don't find their uh a partner they don't find someone to spend their life with because it's not easy enough for them to work with someone like um, it's not easy enough for them to work through the challenges they bail so quickly when they see like traits that they don't like in a partner um, and I'm not talking about, like, somebody that's abusive or narcissistic. Like, I'm not saying, oh, st stay no matter what. You know, because that's just insane. I'm not saying you have to, like, tolerate someone's bullshit. But I'm saying... Because, like, obviously there's a line that I draw. You, I'm not promoting staying in abusive relationships or anything crazy like that. I'm saying that... People have problems, like they, they have um, different ways of expressing themselves. And basically, if the pros of that person outweigh the cons, like for example, if um, somebody has, in, like, somebody has problems with insecurity for instance um and they need they just need to work through that most people just like don't have the patience to <laughs> why do ants always bite me <laughs> vegan blood <laughs> most people don't have the patience to you know just um work through everything with them or uh, I'm like I understand it gets tiring but um, most people just give up and say oh they have this attitude that um, is all like I deserve better or I can't deal with this person's BS and stuff like that but then how are they gonna, like, I understand, like, you have to ultimately do the inner work yourself. You can't, people can't, um, I'm having trouble getting my point across here. <laughs> people are not responsible for your healing, but they're also, like, you don't, you basically what I'm saying is that you don't need to bail on someone that is healing. You don't need to be like, um, yeah, you did this thing that I don't like, so I'm gonna just go. Um, because if you have that mindset for relationships, you're gonna end up alone. You're gonna end up alone, and do you really want to end up alone? I don't think anyone really wants to. Um, because every single person that you meet, they're going to have a problem. They're going to have something that you don't like. 
um, and just because you can't you don't want to tolerate it because you think that you deserve better because you think that you're so like uh, above it or something like that uh, or because it's it's just hard and it's not easy for you just like uh, going through a drive through of a Hungry Jacks or hi you uh, going through the drive through of a Hungry Jacks or something um, Burger King uh, like that just doesn't make sense to me that's why I just don't like I've tried so hard with relationships but it just people have a very like shallow idea of human being like yeah we can have a great time together we can have some fun some casual fun you know what I mean um, go out and have an awesome time and have lots of awesome chats but as soon as like uh, you show me your bad side and I show you my bad side like my dark traits my not so awesome traits uh, it becomes too much to deal with like this is not a good way to view a human being you're not supposed to uh, expect another human being that has all of this stuff going on to, like, be perfect for you. You're just supposed to, like, love them as they are, where you can. Um, and that, coming from a place of, like, unconditional love and stuff... It gets you further spiritually um, if you're healing with another person. Um, that's what I've come to find because we we are mirrors for each other. Because like, what I mean by that is is um, if we show them that. Like, it's okay, I understand, you went through this, and I'm coming, I'm going to stick it out with you from a loving place, instead of a place of judgment and fear. Um, that heals them. That heals them, ultimately. Because it's like, it's just an exchange of, like, love, um, and not a place of, like, judgment, and I can't tolerate this, and... Um, yeah, like, people are gonna, like, hurt us, and, um, but people that hurt us are hurting, so, basically what I'm trying to say is stop viewing another human being as, like, an object, or, like, a commodity, I suppose? Um, and then wondering why, uh, when that illusion is shattered of your fairy tale love, why you're alone, <laughs> why you've ended up all alone. Um, so that's my rant of today. That's the vlog of today. Um, subscribe, click, um, hit the like button if you agree. Um, if you have any thoughts on what I said, if you disagreed, leave me a comment letting me know why. And have a lovely day or night. Bye!